Hi dear students, you are welcome in this video. Dear students, we are making a series on history of Indian writing in English and this is the last video in this series of history of Indian writing in English and this is uh, hash 6 Indian writing in English. We have covered uh, the Indian writing in English before independence, post independence and now it's contemporary Indian writing in English and uh, I appeal all of you, you, ca you should watch the videos which we have made on history of Indian writing in English. We have tried to cover in brief all the major component of Indian writing in English in these videos. So this is the last video in this series and today we are going to cover fiction, short story and drama in uh, 1980 onwards. So uh, let's start with uh, the history of Indian writing in English very first uh, before that, uh, let me tell you there are some questions which are important and which can be asked in your examination. Say for example, here we have first question on this part. Write a detailed note on the contemporary Indian English fiction or who are the major contributors. Then second question might be like this. How did contemporary Indian English short story develop? Who are the major contributors? And the third question, write a note on the contemporary Indian English drama and poetry. So far, we are covering all the genres fiction short story drama and poetry so let's start with the fiction so this is contemporary indian writing in english and very first uh, novelist here we have salman rushdie and this is the picture of salman rushdie we all know about salman rushdie uh, he has uh, heralded a new era in indian writing in english and uh, we find that uh, earlier forms of fantasy is found in salman rushdie's novels and uh, he is called uh, the very user of magic realism. He used magic realism a lot in his novels. And here we have his some of the famous novels like Midnight's Children, Dreams, Shame, The Satanic Verses, Harun and Sea of Stories, then The Moor's Last Sigh, The Ground Beneath Her Feet. And these are earliest forms of fantasy uh, novels or fantasy fiction. Then second we have Kiran Nagarkar who composed Ravan and A.D. This is the earlier again form of fantasy then we have Kakold it's a well known historical novel again he is known for his historical writing and uh, he also composed some of the historical novels uh, like Kakold or Ravan and A.D. Then third we have Vikram Seth and he composed a suitable boy now Vikram Seth is known as uh, the presenter of social realism. We find a lot of social realism in his novels. He gave a new con concept like uh, social realism and he delineated the life in fictional state like Purva Pradesh uh, in A Suitable Boy. Then again we have his An Equal Music. Again a fine example of Indian social realism. So you have a new genre called social realism in the writing of Vikram Seth. So you can study Vikram Seth as a social novelist or who depicts the social realism in his novels. Next we have number four. Uh, there are some Parsi writers who have uh, delineated or explained Parsi life in their novels or in their stories. And here we have Parsi writers like Bowman uh, Desai and he composed the memory of elephant. Then we have Perin Si Barucha, the fire worshippers. Then we have Firdos Kanga trying to grow then we have Rohinton mystery his such a long journey and fine balance and fine pieces of uh, fiction because he delineates the culture of Parsi we find actually uh, some of his novels are based in Mumbai or the then Bombay and we find the culture and setting from there in the novels of Rohinton mystery again we have Ardeshir Vakil Beach Boy then we have Irwin Allen Seeley Trotter Nama a, chrono, uh, a chronicle then we have hero Everest Hotel a calendar these are some of the uh, novels composed by these uh, writers or these novelists and this is uh, again Rohinton mystery then we have uh, fiction in 1980 onwards and there we find uh, the different types of themes are there or included in the fiction of uh, 1980s onward for example we have uh, this fiction talks about the life of bureaucrats and business executives for example we have Upamanya Chatterjee's the English August and Indian story then Ashok Banker's Vertigo then we have Nili, uh, Nalinaksh Bhattacharya's A Fistful of Desire then we have N.K. Singh's Stripped Steel again we have Anurag Mathur's Making the Minister Smile so these uh, from here we can find that these novels or this fiction talks about the bureaucrats and business executives and next we have H. Ratnakar Rao and who's Govind or Govind Shivaji's warrior 
is the latest historical fiction. So historical fiction also is taking momentum in this period 1980 onwards and we find there are so many writers who are composing on histories or mythologies and this is one of the example H. Ratnakar Rao's uh, Shivaji's warrior Govind. So uh, this is Upamanya Chatterjee. Next we have again uh, development of science fiction in the same period and there are some authors like Jayant Narlikar, The Return of Waman, The Message from Aristarchus. These are some of the science fiction in this uh, period or in Indian writing in English. Again, we have Amita Ghosh, Kolkata Chromosome also is a science fiction. Then we have some notable fiction from the same period and some notable writers or composers of the children fiction. Here we have Rushkin Bond, Salman Rushdie, Arundhati Roy, Jayant Narlikar, Arun Kumar Dutt. So they have composed for children now you can explore these writers as a uh, composer of children's fiction or children fiction uh, you can have uh, based in these writers writing so next here we have again some women novelists from the same period and here we have jay nimkar shashi deshpande raji narsimhan uh, uh, Anjana, Appachanna, Mrinal Pandey, Gita Hariharan, Anita Nair, then Manju Kapoor, Dina Mehta, Namita Gokhale, etc. Now you can explore these novelists or women novelists more if you want. Here we have uh, tried to conclude them in brief. So uh, these novelists are for our understanding. So for more information, please go to internet or check on Google. Next, we have some notable diaspora writers from the same period. We have Bharti Mukherjee, Indra Ganeshan, then we have Meena Alexander, Kiran Desai, Rowington Mystery, Rushdi, etc. There are some diaspora writers too. Again, we have some popular Indian writers of today. For example, this is Chetan Bhagat, then we have Arvind Adiga, Amish Tripathi, Savi Sharma, etc. who are composing in English and now Indian writing in English or Indian fiction has taken momentum or people love to read Indian fiction too and hence these authors have become very popular and the people uh, hailed them as a novelist or fiction writers and they read their novels because many of the novels are speaking about common men many of the novels are speaking about the situations around uh, the common masses and this is uh, the strong point for Chetan Bhagat, Arvind Adiga, Amish Tripathi actually Amish Tripathi is composing on mythology so uh, we have his so many novels for example Shiva trilogy then we have Sita uh, different types of mythological fiction he has developed a new genre you can uh, say it as mythological genre so mythology is inherent in all his novels or mythology uh, he takes for granted and he composes on mythology so you can read Amish Tripathi for example Shiva trilogy now dear students this is the fiction developed in this period let's talk about the short story in the same period and we have some major post independence writers so these writers actually are first generation writers or they have composed after uh, independence hence they are called as post independence writers which include Mulkaraj Anand, R. K. Narayan, Raj Rao, Kushwan Singh, A.K. Abbas, Manohar Malgaonkar, Raskin Bond, P. Lal, K. N. Daruwala, Jayant Mahapatra, Randir Khare, Rohinton Mystery and his Tales from Firuz Shah Bagh is very famous. Again, we have R. Raja Rao, etc. So, these first generation writers continued writing in the uh, during 1980 onwards. So, uh, these are some of the short story writers. And again, we have women short story writers like Shashi Deshpande, Gauri Deshpande, uh, Nisha Kunha, Babul Sharma, Manjula Padmanabhan. Then we have Jay Nimkar, Shobade, Bharti Mukherjee. Chitra Banerjee, Diva Karuni, Jhumpa Lahiri, etc. And this is uh, the picture of Jhumpa Lahiri. Now you can have women uh, short story writers too in this period. And Indian writing has become a very, uh, we can say that grand genre of study. And hence we have different types of literature uh, composed or developed by these writers. Short stories, fiction, again we have poetry, drama too. Now let's talk about poetry. Now in this period, most of the post Indian independence poets have continued during 1980s onwards and we have first generation poets like Nisse Musical, Arun Kolatkar, Pritish Nandi, A.K. Ramanujan, Dom Morias, Jiu Patel, Shu K. Kumar, K.N. Daruwala, Jayant Mahapatra and again we have second generation poets like Salim Piradina, Sanju Bhatla, Aga Shahid Ali, 
मकरंद परांज पे तबिश खैर देन वी हैव अशोक महाजन एट्सेट्रा नाउ दिस फर्स्ट जनरेशन राइटर्स एक्चुअली वी हैव ऑलरेडी कवर्ड इन दी वीडियोस बिफोर इन द पोस्ट इंडिपेंडेंस इंडियन राइटिंग इन इंग्लिश यू कैन वॉच दोज वीडियोज एंड यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड मोर अबाउट दिस फर्स्ट जनरेशन पोएट्स एंड नाउ वी हैव सम लीडिंग वीमेन पोएट्स टू ड्यूरिंग दिस पीरियड लाइक यूनिस डी सूजा देन वी हैव तारा पटेल कविता इजिकिल दिस इज द पिक्चर ऑफ कविता इजिकिल इम्तियाज धारकर देन वी हैव मुक्ता सम्रानी देन वी हैव मीना अलेक्जेंडर सुजाता भट्ट देवजानी चैटर्जी देन वी हैव रुक्मिनी भाया नायर देन वी हैव रचना जोशी मीना कंदास्वामी एट्सेट्रा दीज आर सम ऑफ दी वीमेन नॉवलिस्ट ड्यूरिंग दिस पीरियड सो नेक्स्ट वी हैव हियर the drama 1980 onwards and there are some most important dramatists or leading dramatists in this period for example girish karnad mahesh dattani this the picture of uh, you can see uh, babul sarkar vijay tendulkar mahesh l kunchwar jeev patel nisim ezekiel r raja rao's one act play collection is very famous and this is the wisest fool on earth and other plays so you can have uh, this uh, collection of plays and you can understand the contemporary scenario of the drama uh, during 1980 onwards or uh, contemporary time so this is leading dramatists uh, next we have some women dramatists which include dina mehta uma parmeswaran manjula padmanabhan etc so you can have the complete understanding of these uh, uh, dramatists if you want to explore more about these dramatists just google it you will Uh, have all the information or what kind of plays they have composed what kind of themes they have included etc now we have covered almost all aspects of the indian writing in english or history of indian writing in english through the six uh, videos so you can watch all these videos and understand what is indian writing in english or its history in brief you will definitely will get more out of these videos so this is about the contemporary scene of indian writing in english i hope you understand all these poets and all these uh, genres too so let's meet in the next video if you have any problem you can just comment below in the comment section i will try to answer your comments thank you very much